as you can see, this is uh, one that's been revised slightly. It's not actually um, the 2002 version. We're going to be playing the game normally. We can change some of the options later. We don't want the plunge cheat. We just want plunge normal. Cheating's for lamers. I find the plunge ridiculously difficult sometimes, but um, it's worth it. Wanderers. All who exist are wanderers. Thus has it been since the dawning hour. It's quite a dated introduction sequence. I find this the cheesiest thing in the entire game. Mind you, it's pretty difficult, if you've ever tried to make anything in RPG Maker, to make little things flash in front of you and to have nice... you know, and the use of the 3D graphics is pretty good. I'll try not to be too nerdy when it comes to the limitations. Press Fall Inception is in some respects the prequel to this game world, I guess. That's Lung Calsari. I didn't dig Crest Fall Inception too much, it's just too dated. And not friendly enough in terms of battle systems and everything. He certainly used everything he learned there to, uh, to make this. It's a bit of Rue's backstory. Yeah, the way is in um, inverted commas for a reason. Hmm. Hmm. Protagonist is a man on a mission. Or oh, would that be a crusade? Ah, good old purpose. The um, Buddha slash God slash force of the story makes its appearance. You're just young. When you get older, you will eventually see the folly of such naive beliefs. Maybe if you believe in the purpose, you wouldn't have gone bald. Rolling stone gathers no moss. Very confused. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. I doubt any of us will be seeing the likes of him again. He's setting quite a pace for himself. You know, you might be right. He seems like the type. Them forerunners are a crazy lot.
Yes, it's getting quite late. Not everyone's sleeping. This doesn't look too good. Now we have free control of Rue for the first time. And we have our first introduction to the plunge. Theron of the Nellin Stretch. Ooh, Landorin. Landorin, I see you're up to about early today, my friend. Really? Is there trouble behind you? Where are you headed in such a hurry? Well then, would you be interested in taking a few passes? I need some practice. <laughs> Rue has other things on his brain. I'm talking about taking the plunge. Haven't you ever taken it before? Busy. Well, I guess I could teach you a few things if you've got the time. Just the uh, bare essentials, of course. Of course. Maybe worthwhile. Great! Now, uh, just stay where you are. There are three basic attacks in the plunge. The cross sweep, the lunge cut, and the drop slash. Both you and your opponent will be using one of these attacks during the plunge. Each of them is strong against one of the other attacks and weak against another. Cross sweep works well against a lunge cut. A lunge cut works well against a drop slash. And a drop slash works well against a cross sweep. And in case this doesn't seem familiar to you, it's a lot like rock, paper, scissors. However, just because you use a better attack doesn't mean you'll deal more damage to your opponent than they deal to you, which is where the beauty of it is, really. Choosing the right attack only helps to give your attack more of a wallop. The damage you deal is largely dependent on your plunge skill. I won't go into all the attributes involved in the plunge, but I can tell just by looking at you that your skill level is close to nil. However, let's talk about HP real quick. The picture below you is called your life cycle. There are three attributes portrayed, hit points, plunge skill, and damage threshold. The oval under each of these letters represents the condition of each of these traits. During combat, the ovals will change colors in response to changes that occur in these attributes. The meanings of the colors are as follows. Blue, supoib. Green, excellent. Light green, fair, yellow, failing, dying, imminent death, and so forth, yada yada yada. If any of the ovals turns red, it means that you're probably going to be defeated. In other words, you're going to die if the plunge is to the death. That's one of the reasons we call it the life cycle. During the plunge, you can check both your own life cycle and that of your opponent between passes using the left and right keys. I've uh, left a lot unexplained, but I'm sure someone else will be kind enough to give you some further training. More advanced plunge concepts include critical hits, blade arts, risk attack, attack links, finishers, and such. Once you learn about those things, you'll be able to develop your own special battle strategy. He's not lying. But enough chat, let's do this. Well, we will do this. But first, I think we're going to take a break. And that's lots of information to take in. Uh, but to live in kind of a user-friendly way. Um, just a warning to the wise, we're going to get our asses kicked in the first few plunges we take. Um, completely. We'll see what we can do, though. And uh, tune in next time to find out. <laughs>